everybody welcome back to my channel I've got another really exciting little tutorial for you now that I have this like overhead view I feel like I just have a bit more space to be able to show you guys like a larger project so if you remember that little folio folder that I made a lot of you really like that and I'm so happy you guys enjoyed that so at the end I said you know you can stack them like books so that was my inspo with this project because I wanted it to look like a stack of books kind of just sitting there. So if you see the front cover, I've got this, but the fun part about this one is that you can also just tuck it in. Sorry, I've got stuff in there in the way, but you can also tuck, this actually goes in really easy. It's just to have things in the way. So if you do that and then you have this, you could even do it in the back and it's just this pretty little box and I'm setting mine up like this as if it were a book, but you could obviously do something with a lid and do it like that. So it's, I, I did this a little different um, for a box and I want to show you why because I, I want to just give you these options so that if you don't want this size or this size, you can make your own sizes. And I did it so one's large and one's small. And if you're doing like a swap or something, you have all this room inside of here. And I wanna show you like, look at all these projects that kind of just like stuffed in here. And sorry, that's in here. I just wanna show you just for fun, like all the stuff coming out. And then in this back pocket, I have some of my rosies, which I'm using today. This is gonna be released for April. And you can see like just how much space is in there. You can really stick a lot in there. So inside, I wanna show you. My wall here is blank because I feel like when you open this book, you're gonna see these pages. Now, as we go along, if you want, you can just use these same measurements for that side because it, it's like a pain how I put it in, but you can really easily slide your hand in there, but I'll show you as we go along just kind of my process and how I did it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these out of the way because I feel like I might need this for reference, but this is just another really fun one, you guys. So here we go. All right, let's start with the base, which is going to be the outside cardstock. And I'm gonna be using a 110 pound weight for this, okay? So, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna need my scoreboard. We're gonna, this is gonna be a little bit of a process here because there's just a couple of pieces. All right, so let's start with the larger part of the book, which is gonna be this right here, okay? So if you want in the, in the end, if you want to do like two of the large ones or two of the small ones, you know, you have the option to do that. All right, so it's going to be a 110 pound cardstock and it's gonna be 11 by eight and a half. So if you just have this out of the pack, it's going to be, you're not even gonna to have to cut it or anything. So at the 11 inch score, we're going to score it at four and a half and six and a half inches. Four and a half and six and a half inches. Now this is more, a lot more, I said the last one was durable. I don't wanna look like a liar, but this one's even more durable because it doesn't bend. Uh, there was uh, someone who was trying to put a magnet in and said it wasn't standing up good, enough, good for her. So this is going to really stand up for you with no problem. You can see here, just, you know, I mean, standing, no problem. It was just a coincidence that I made that and she had commented, so. Anyways, make sure these are really crisp because again, we want this to last and we want our folds to be really nice, okay? So let's go ahead and I'll do the, the second piece so you can see that too. So the, actually, you know what? I'm wondering if I should do this one at a time. Um, yeah, I think I might do that so I don't confuse you. So hold on. I'll show you how we're doing this. I've got so many things here, so bear with me, you guys. Okay, so how we're going to make our little book here is we're gonna use little dividers, okay? So we're going to grab two four and a half by six inch card stocks, so the same weight, and we're gonna score them both at two, four, and six inches at the six inch mark. So, Again, there's a million ways you could have done this, but this is just, I'm sorry, not two, four, and six, just two and four. Obviously that is the six. So for anyone international, you can see this, okay? 
By the way, when I say overseas, I do not mean to be rude. I said something in a video. It was a couple of videos ago. I said for those, I have to, I want to write this down for those overseas. And someone overseas commented and said like, I'm overseas and I understood what you meant. As if I was like saying it in a way of intelligence. And that's not what I mean at all. I mean, uh, for one, I'm a mixed breed. And secondly, it's more for just because not everyone uh speaks english and they read the captions so okay i just want to clarify that okay so here we go again two and four again so we're doing the same exact thing i'm telling you on on social media and you know this is just a craft channel but you still have to be careful you don't know what you can say that will really offend people i feel like this is a happy little corner but I guess not always. All right. So here we go. Let me get this out of the way so you guys can kind of, I think you mentioned, a lot of you mentioned that the background helps you really see everything. So I'm going to do that. So this is how I'm making my book. I'm doing it like this. Could I have made like little score things and pulled it up like a box? Yes. But I'm telling you, this is just so much better because you just have, it just, I don't know. It's just easier to me to do it this way. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick it on here and it's going to make our box. So we're going to stick it on this end and this end. But because the inside and all that is weird, you really want to make sure that, um, you know, you got all this, all your things covered and stuff. So you can go like this and do it this way. You can either go this way, but honestly, now that I'm doing it, I had done mine like this. I would prefer to do it like this. It looks cleaner and then your paper or whatever can go inside. So I'm just going to do it from this angle. Okay. So let me go ahead and glue that. So the reason why it's hard to do this side is because once you, you'll see what I mean when I do it. So get this going here. So when we close this, do you see how it can be like a little weird? So that's why if you're decorating, you kind of want to do it when it's like this. But this is the thing. This here is going to be on the inside. So you're going to have to cover that little piece right there. If you can see it. So that's kind of, I should have maybe done that on this side, like kept this here. I don't know. I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay. So anyway. Now let's go ahead and do this side right here. There's kind of a lot of stuff to this book. It's very easy, but there is a lot of pieces, so I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay, so there's that. Now we definitely want to, you know what? I'm gonna cover all of this, I think, after. So don't place, we don't want to place our papers down or anything because we're going to have to do it before we glue this down. So this is just going to be the large piece. Now let's go to the small one and then we'll do all the covers because I think it'll flow better that way. So the smaller portion, which is going to be this size here, is going to be a hundred, uh, of course, 110 pound car suck. It's going to be 10 by eight and a half inches. And at the 10 inch score, we're going to score it at four and a half and five inches. Four and a half and five and a half. So you can see how much smaller that spine is, right? And again, just make sure those scores are nice and crisp. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make our little ends and glue them on. And then we'll kind of pull everything together. I wasn't sure how I was going to do this when I was cutting out all the pieces. Because there's quite a bit of steps, I feel like. More than my one-page wonders, which are so much easier. All right. So, we've got that going, right? And now our little end dividers are right here so these are going to be you want to make two of them you're going to make four and a half by three inches okay oh my gosh why did I do that I wrote it on here instead of on here it's not going to show up anyway I don't think 
It's kind of bothering me. Hold on. Let me make another one because I don't know where that's going to end up. So three by four and a half. Okay. We don't want to see that. And we're going to score it at one. Oh my gosh, wrong way. So at the three inch score, we're gonna score it at one and two inches. And I don't know why I keep writing that end piece. <laughs> so it's going to look like this. I was so confused because I had the paper turned. See, this is why I keep it simple, you guys. <laughs> I guess I could technically do a voiceover, but that wouldn't be real, would it? All right, so again, do the same thing at one and two inches. We're all about being real on this channel, right? And you guys said it makes you feel better when you see me doing it, so I'm gonna keep it real for you. Okay, and then we're just gonna grab this and we're gonna do the same exact thing. out of the way for a minute. Again, you can put it here or put it behind it. This is not going to really show. If anything, it's going to show inside. I'm going to do it behind it before I did it inside this way, but I think it looks better like this. Okay, and we're going to do it again. Oh, what did I just do? Did I do the wrong side? I did. That's okay. I can fold it this way. Oh my goodness. Get on there. It's because I had scored it the other way. And a few people did mention that I score my things wrong. I'm supposed to use the other side, but it's a habit now. So it's just what it is, okay? All right. So now let's do... All right, this is gonna be the easiest way to do this. Okay, so we're gonna do our covers. So how this is gonna roll is we're gonna basically stack them like this. So let's go ahead and start with that large cover that we did first, okay? So we're gonna do the cover and we're gonna need, you're gonna need four to six of these. I'm using four, but if you're doing like this side, you're gonna use six, okay? So I'm just gonna do four today. So here we go, and they, they're four and one-fourth by eight and one-fourth. So I'm gonna put that on here. So I am meeting my friend soon. I was like, I don't know if I should do this video, but we're gonna go eat some Korean food. I'm so excited, it's our favorite lunch spot. And Felicia, if you're watching, she she watches my videos. I got her into paper crafts, but she works too much now, so we can't always go to lunch anymore like we used to. All right, so we've got that, and now I'm going to do my inside cover because we don't want to... I mean, technically, can you close this and shove it in there? Yes, but I'm trying to make it easy for you guys. Okay, so we've got that, and I'm going to use, again, it's the same size here. We're just using all the same sizes. So let me see how this is going to look. I kind of like to see how it looks, you know, like as you're going like this. And I love the swan right there. I think I did that in the first book. This line is so pretty. And there's a cardstock to this line. I just... Uh, use this one and the car stock is amazing i just use this one because i wanted just a little bit more of a thicker card stock for this project but the other one is pretty thick okay and now i'm gonna go ahead and do these you guys let me know if the steps here are clear so here's the smaller one Oh, so, okay. So for this cover, it's going to be glued on here. So we don't need our cover done. It's going to be the inside here and the back. Or if you want to do those, okay? Now, remember, when you do those, you need to close this because you don't want these on the outside. Well, actually, this won't be fine, but 
you'll see when I close it. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and let me see how this looks. I just wanna see how it looks together standing. So you can see it. Yeah, I do like that. All right, so I'm gonna stick this inside this small piece. I always try to make my directions really clear. So that's why I try to avoid projects that are too big, but you guys seem to really like them. So I'm gonna just go outside my little box for a little bit, okay? And then this is gonna be the back, which is here. Now, we obviously don't need to do the back on this one because this one's gonna be glued down. So if you're, in case you're wondering. Okay, again, another piece that we're going to have to do because it's going to be in the inside is going to be the little spine here, okay? So let's start with the smaller one because it just happens to be in my hand. So the small cover is going to be three-fourths of an inch by eight and one-fourth, and we're going to need two of them because one's going to go here and then one's going to go on the outside. So I've got this little strip. Bandit, he's having a puppy man. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do the outside right here. You could even have like writing to make it look like it's a real book, you know, just like your memory. You could say, Hey, this is you know 2024 summer or whatever. All right, and then we're gonna do this one. And this cover is going to be one and three fourths by eight and one fourth. And again, we're going to need two of them. So when you're doing that and you're kind of like looking, you want to see what you want next to your next book. So I'm going to use this one inside here. You know, just kind of eyeball it as you're going along. Because I cut out all these pieces and I don't know how it's going to look sometimes until after I'm done. So this is going to be the inside, and then this is going to be the outside. And these are like little peaches, which is perfect because we're in Georgia. So we got that down. So now I'm going to do these bottom pieces. And again, I didn't do the top. I didn't do this. You guys are going to have the measurements. Just double them up. So the bottom piece right here. Okay, so I'm going to, let's go back to the, kind of like, I'm trying to keep this in order here because I've got quite a few things. Let's do this. Okay, so the bottom, this is going to be the bottom here and it's going to be the top here. So these are three fourths by, I'm sorry, three fourth by four and a one fourth. So three fourth by four and a quarter. So I'm gonna put this right here. And again, if you want another one on the top, you can make, and one on the bottom, make four of these. Okay, and then I'm gonna put one on the top here. go ahead and I guess we can go ahead and close this one because it's going to look like that inside and again that's my top and I didn't do my bottom so if you want another one do another measurement like that so this one's good to go and then we'll do our larger one this is actually it is longer to make, if you, but it actually is so worth it after you finish it. 
and you don't need any dies. That's the best part. They have all these crazy dies that do these big projects, but you don't need that. You don't have to spend like $30 on some die that you're going to use one time, <laughs> maybe a couple. All right. So, um, there is going to be that one and that's going to be that part. So let's get back to this. So this, we're going to do the same places. This is going to be one and three quarters by four and a quarter. Again, there's two of them. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down on the bottom here. And then right on the top. And I know you guys who love swaps love these. I wish I had done this before Easter because I know a lot of you like to swap all those fun, cute things. But I know that there will be summer swaps and things coming. Or maybe you just want this in your storage. Okay. And this would be even great for like birthday cards and candy. Just um, can you imagine during the holiday, like during Christmas? All right. So when I close this, you can see like, let me see what's going on in there. So it's going to look like that. So let me go ahead and seal this. So I thought about making like a connecting piece without the back and just put, putting it on here because you can do that and technically it would have been easier. But I really liked that it looked like books and I also like the fact that I can give you two measurements in one tutorial. So maybe you just want to do one of these sizes. You don't need two of them. Then at least you have both of these measurements, like one small one, one big one. You know what I mean? So there was no going wrong with that. So you can see like, oops, this is upside down how it looks. So again, this, these don't need covers because we're going to go ahead and glue them. And they're going to look so pretty already. So let's glue that on. And also another fun thing that I had done if you don't, if like you're trying to get fancy, is you can, okay, all my stuff is in right here. But if you want, before you glue this on, you could absolutely take a ribbon and glue it down and make like a pretty little ribbon on the side. So that's just an idea. And I almost did that, but I was like, no, I need this to look like a book. <laughs> but if I was doing a swap, oh my goodness, you could do, the ribbon with a bunch of dangles on it hanging. Oh my goodness, it looks so pretty. Hope you guys can feel over me gluing. Okay, and then voila. Look at how perfect that is. It should come out just as nice as this. Oh my goodness. That drives me crazy. I put it on crooked. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And you see how durable it is. And just, especially because these two are solid in here so now we're just going to go ahead and do our little flap thingy and then we are almost done goodness i'm not used to filming this long all right so let's do the flap part okay so the flap closure here is going to be six and a half by eight and a half inches is that right yes okay yes i do so we're going to score the six and a half inch piece at one and four and a quarter inches. So one, let's try that again, one and four and a quarter. All right, this part is too easy compared to what we just did. So, not that that wasn't easy, but. All right. Am I missing something? Why do I have these extra pieces here? I'm so confused. Okay, so let me go ahead and fold this down. And then fold this down. And at this point, if you want to round it, if you want to add like a pretty die, make it lacy, add lace on the edges, that would be so pretty too. Like, you know, this is kind of shabby looking, so like a shabby chic type thing. All right, so that's easy, right? So this little, 
smaller end here, all we're gonna do is glue that on this back piece. And it's literally just gonna fold like that. So can't get any easier than that. Okay, I'm just gonna glue that on the back there. So just so you can see right here. And then it's gonna fold up. Voila. Now let's get these flap covers done. All right, starting with, wait a minute, where's my other one? Oh, okay, so let's start with the back here. This is gonna be three fourths by eight and one fourth, or eight and a quarter, and that's just gonna go right here. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna go be Korean and it's my favorite because I don't know if you guys know, I am half Korean. So that's like my number one love for food, okay? So the next part is gonna be this right here. So this is gonna be on the outside and the inside. So it's gonna be three by eight and a quarter. So there's gonna be two of them. So I'm gonna kind of look here to see which one I want. I'm thinking this is gonna be on the outside because it's so gorgeous and I don't wanna hide it. But remember, when you do have it, it's gonna open up like that. But I think I'm gonna just put this one in here. I'm gonna put the other one on the outside. And this is just great because it's single-sided paper. I know I use a lot of double-sided paper. So I'm gonna put that one on the side right here. Isn't this paper just gorgeous? I can't. And by the way, I so I got my nails done in the last video of when I actually got them done. And they like peeled off in like a week, which I didn't know that gel nails do that. Because honestly, you guys, I haven't gotten my nails done in so long. It's been, I mean, it was probably before my son was born. It was definitely before he was born. And he's like 12 now. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this new thing. And then everyone's like, yeah, because the oil in your nails make them come off. And I was just like, oh, okay, boy, am I behind times. <laughs> anyway, this end piece here is going to be at two and a quarter. And this is going to be eight and a quarter. So again, kind of just pick what you want. Because this is going with the flow here, I'm going to use the flower out there. I mean, I could do this one, but I think this one belongs inside. Hmm, I need this one a little larger. What size did I make this? Is this the same size? Let me see. I feel like it just fits on perfect, and the other ones I made a little smaller. Let me make sure my measurements are right here. Or maybe it's my paper. So hold on. I have two and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Is it two and a quarter? It is. I mean, it fits. It just fits just right. And this one here, did I do that with this one? Let me see. I did. I made it kind of a full cover. Hmm. I'm trying to think if that's what I want on here. I think I want this a little smaller. So it's two and a quarter right now. I think I'm gonna go down to two inches. I hope I don't regret this. So let me write this. So for anyone, maybe my in, overseas peeps, two by eight and a quarter. Now let's see how it looks. Okay, that's much better. I'm glad I did that. So let me do that with this one too. Nothing like a blooper while you're going live on your video. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm a professional, right? I'm just a girl crafting in her room. <laughs> but I do think some people expect me to be one. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's 
so here we go. I think that's anyone that has a channel. People expect you to be just like when I go to, I guess when you go to someone's channel, if they're not cooking right, they're doing something, they're like, oh my gosh, what are they doing? But, you know, we're all just trying to make it in the world, okay? <laughs> all right, so there's this and this gorgeous thing right here. Okay, and then I want to show you now that there's nothing inside of it, so you guys believe me that it's not hard. Here we go, and voila, it goes right in. So if you want to stand your book that way, you can. But for me, I like that it looks like a couple of books here. So if you have two of these, because last time, and you've got them on your little craft shelf, look at how nice they're going to look. They look like actual books, right? All right, and then for the cover, I, can, I just kept this really simple. And I just noticed that my O fell off. So please, I did not do that. I don't know if it was like that at the beginning of the video, but please know that was not my intention. So I'm going to just take this because I like it like this and maybe just use a pretty die like I did before. I use this one. This one is so gorgeous. I can't find my other foam tape, so I'm going to bust out a new roll. This is double-sided foam tape. Oh, I'm not used to this. This is too full for me. There we go. And that's kind of blending in, but I like it. Honestly, this would be pretty even with like a little bit of... I'm, I'm feeling some glitter on, on here. <laughs> I feel like this box, if you're doing a swap or something, you want it to be so pretty and blingy. And you could do like really pretty, just add little glitter particles in here. And I just kind of shadow everything and follow it around just to make it glisten. And you know who taught me this was the Vintage Goose channel. And I miss her so much, Melissa. She does, she has not posted in a long time. If anyone here knows her, will you please give me an update because I really miss her and I tried messaging her on Instagram but there was no response so kind of sad that I don't see her. I think she's taking a break but anyway. So and this I'm going to just put a pretty gold sticker if it will fit. This might be too big but I can always tuck that in. Well, now I can't because I put glitter on it. Something told me not to do that, and I did it anyway. Smile. You know what? Instead of the, like, period on the top, I'm going to use the butterfly. And it would, it it's almost cuts it. It almost makes it. And then on the side here, I think this and would be perfect for that part of the book. I'm making a mess over here. So maybe this, and then like, isn't this perfect? Because it really just reminds me of something maybe on the outside of the book. So here it is, you guys. I did it. I was so afraid to do this tutorial because I was afraid I was going to mess it up. And again, you see, like, if these little areas bother you, just make an extra. Oops, I didn't glue that too well. Just make an extra of those places that, you know, that I didn't do. But I just was fine like this because you're going to open up the box and it's going to be right there. But anyways, thanks so much for joining me and I hope you guys love this as much as I do. All right, guys. Thank you.